What's going on, everyone? It's Mikey Pipes. We got Steven. And today, well, this morning, we're working on this Burnham boiler behind me. Customer's complaint is that the radiant in the kitchen and dinette, dinette area are not as hot as the other radiant zone. Big room, front room, master bath, and powder room. So, we did a quick little test here. And I got my FLIR i7 thermal camera. And let's just take a look at something here. There's that circulator, right? And there's the other one. This one is not really moving the water, and this one is. Right? And if we look at the temperature on the one that's working, we got 104 degrees. And on the other one, oh, it's warming up finally. But we do have a, an issue here. Why is this zone not as good as that zone? Let's find out. So I was about to condemn the circulator, right? Which is now at temperature. So let's go and take a look at the floor, right? It's working, but a thermostat is telling me it's 73, when in actuality, it's 77. Thermostat. All right, so, I had initially had some doubt with the circulator, but now with it running, all right, my boiler temperature dropped considerably, right, because now she's moving the water. Look at that, night and day difference. All right, before we're at 170 degrees with it running, and now we're at 120, and she feels like 120. So when in doubt, always trust your gut instincts. You usually won't be wrong. Ain't that right, Stephen? But I did, I, I did have Stephen get a Series 80 from the truck because it is off by four degrees and we probably still will replace the thermostat, that old Honeywell thermostat, but there you go. Bad circulator preventing good heat on the radiant heat in the kitchen and dinette. Shame on you, circulator. Bad circ. Well, where is it? Where is the bad circle? Bad circulator. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. Now we got the Taco 0015E three speed. Set it to medium, and we are good to go. So that service call needed a circulator. They also need to replace the thermostat because it's off by four degrees. But he's got some Google thermostats he's about to install. Apparently, his son works for Google and. Uh, I guess that's a perk of working for Google. Yeah. You know, big tech, you get free toys, sure. right? But uh, I want to thank all of my 24 percenters. We are almost at 5,000 subscribers, guys. Like, I think it was like right around New Year's, I was at almost at three. Mm -hmm. And today is the 15th, 16th? 15th. 15th. 15 days later, almost 2,000 more subscribers. And I am going to do something special for you guys. Any idea, Stephen? Nope. I am going to make something awesome to celebrate having 5,000 subscribers. And since lately, a lot of the videos have had fire, boom, burn. <laughs> That's a hint. Yep. That's a hint. I'm going to make something pretty cool. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna give you guys one more other hint. And I want you to comment down on the description box down below, what do you think I'm gonna make to celebrate 5,000 subscribers strong to this channel? I am going, it's definitely like fire, burn, boom, explode. You gonna make right? another turkey? No, <laughs> I'm not making another turkey, right? And I'm gonna use the tubing bender. Oh, so comment down below what you guys think I'm going to make to celebrate 5,000 subscribers, which we're probably going to have by Monday, realistically, or maybe even today, which means I'll have to be working over the weekend to make this thing. <laughs> so 
take a hint. Thank you, my 24 percenters. And we're almost at 5,000, guys. Much appreciate the support and love from the community. Peace out.